Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. This video is a quick little recap of a um, kind of embarrassing thing that happened. We just got wrecked by a level 12 clan who who is a war weight clan like we are, but they really game the system better than we did. So in this war, we did a 40 on 40 war. We partnered up with a team with a clan that we recently played called Cosmic Power 23. And you can see these guys just crushed us. We did pretty well. I mean, we got 110 stars. Um, you can see we didn't do all our attacks. I, I don't know why. I think some of our lower our lower bases didn't attack. But look at that. Perfect war. Now, we did well, except obviously we couldn't convert on these, uh, these top bases. But I just kind of want to show you something here. So these guys, I mean, so you're looking at base number one here. I'm just doing a scout. Um, obviously, top level... T um, Town Hall 11, you know, max heroes, pretty much max, I would think max everything. The ba A lot of the top ones are like this. They so get max, you have another max, at least with the heroes. Um, and then, it, this is pretty amazing, so let me kind of skip down a little bit. So the top ones obviously are Town Hall 11. Town Hall 11, this is an 11, I think this is a 10. Let's see. What is this one? I don't even see the Town Hall. Oh, Town Hall 10. So, okay, so base 7 is Town Hall 10. And then they go down. I mean, you have Town Hall 9s. I forgot how far down. Yeah, this is a Town Hall 9. But you can see they have, like, really high heroes. These guys really specialize in high heroes. And um, you can see these are, like, Town Hall 8 level um, cannons. No, I'm sorry. These are Town Hall 9 level cannons. But let me show you what they did here, which is really amazing. So you have like 23 is a Town Hall 9. So you can see these are Town Hall 9s, right? They kind of go down just like the way normal um, clans do. But when you get down this far, I'm trying to remember where it stops. Okay, Town Hall 9, and then it's just a couple more down. All of a sudden, okay, you have Town Hall 8. So this makes sense, right? Town Hall 11 going down to Town Hall 8. Now look at this, base 33. Town Hall 11 with, you know, pretty high heroes, for especially for a number 33 out of 40 base. Number 33, number number 34. I mean, look at this. So as far as defenses go, it's not that strong. But as far as offenses go, I mean, this is number 34. And, you know, they have level 32 king, level 37 queen, level 10 grand warden. So this is really, really playing the war weight base thing. And I'm not complaining because we do the same thing. But they just owned us here. They destroyed us. Um, base 36 out of 40 has, you know, level 26 queen, level 5 grand warden, level 20 king. So this is pretty amazing stuff. So <laughs> look at this one. So this is a town hall 10. Now, obviously, they're, they're playing the war weight thing because, look, they have one cannon level 1. And I don't even know how they get all this stuff because I don't know how they defend. But, you know, they have, this is a Town Hall 10 with one level 1 cannon. So I think this is what you would call engineered bases. And like I said, we play this game too, and they just beat us at it. And you can see, like, they have really high level troops. Well, they're not super high, but, yeah, this is pretty amazing. I don't know how to get back to this thing. Okay. Anyway, so we did not so well. Well, we did pretty well. We got 110 stars. Now look at this one. <laughs> this is a, another one of these ones where there's one cannon to the town hall three, and they put them in war. So I don't. I was going to show some of their replays, but I really don't want to show any of our war bases. Um, but I, you know, I'll show you a little bit. So let's go to the top of this one. Sorry for scrolling. So this one, obviously, we got 50% one star. This one we got 55%. This one we got 98%. So I'll show this attack. I'll show a couple attacks. I'll show one of mine too. My my attacks were with um, I have no heroes and no dark spell factory. I was just in war to kind of help out. So this is actually one of the guys from the other team, Cosmic Power 23, Quantum Colin. Now, he's probably the closest we got to 100% on the top bases. So it's a decent start so far. He's got a level 40 queen. He has some giants going in against the multi inferno. And here comes like a ton of bowlers. He puts a jump spell down. And look at that. They have goblins. 
in their clan castle and a and a um a baby dragon. So already the Grand Warden had to use his ability, the Eternal Tome. But you know, he's breaking through the middle here. He's doing pretty well. Unfortunately, you know it's not gonna be a three star, but he did pretty well here. He has a level forty king, level forty queen, and a level twenty Grand Warden. So this guy's pretty good. But like I said, this is the closest we got to a three star on one of the top seven bases, I guess. And once they perfect war us, I mean, it was really just pretty much done. Look at that. He has max level walls here. So, you know, it's hard to break through those. So he's using a haste here. Meanwhile, on the bottom, he's got a bunch of bowlers. But he has pretty strong walls, so this is tough. Unfortunately, he has a multi-inferno in the middle there. And he has no more freeze spells or anything. So they're, they're just going to take damage, these guys. Queen's doing okay. But she's by herself now. He did have to use her ability. I guess the last thing that was probably left was probably the Inferno Tower, unfortunately. He didn't have any free spells to use on, against it. And I'm not sure if it was just a matter of time. We'll see what happens here. I actually didn't see this one. Oh yeah, this is probably just a matter of time. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, he has a couple more troops coming in from the side to help out. Yeah, but unfortunately there's an Inferno Tower. Yeah, that's the problem. And he has no free spell, so this is the end of the bat end of the attack. Anyway, there's our best one against theirs. Um so that was number ninety eight percent against number three. And number seven we actually three starred. So I didn't do very well, I'll show you. This, so I don't know what happened to this number three guy. He didn't he didn't do an attack, which doesn't help. But of course, oops, um, you know, of course, it doesn't matter if they perfect war us. Now all these guys have quit because they're all from the other clan, so they all did their attacks. So I'll show you my first replay. My first replay, you can see I have I'm using HGHB, but I have no I have no heroes, and I only have the dark spell from my clan castle. So here I am coming in from the top. I love this attack. I mean, I use this for all my raids and stuff too. Now I didn't realize they have a they had a um, Tesla in the corner, so I use a couple of hogs on it just to take it out. I don't want to distract all my troops. So they break in. I put the bowlers down. I put a couple of hogs over there just to take it out. Like I said, I don't want to miss that one at the end. They do have another one in the right corner also. So here they come with Valkyries, a wizard, and a and baby dragon. Which, you know, normally this would be a lot easier to take out, but I don't have a, an archer queen. So the um, so the baby dragon's not as easy to take out. Thankfully, I had a couple wizards in there. Now, here come my hog riders. And they just, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show that. But on the right was another um, another Tesla. So everyone's kind of merged up here. I put down the heal spell probably a little too early. But there's a giant bomb. Thankfully, only one hog rider triggers it. And now you can see one of my hog riders is being I my mean, hog riders are being followed by the um one of my one of the healers, which helps of course. I don't think there's anything else in the corners now. Only in, there's an elixir collector in the bottom. So at this point, I mean this is with no heroes. I'm able to to just plow through this base here. Their king's still chasing my hogs, but it's really not too bad. And I do have some troops to attack. Now, the only thing left on defense is the wizard tower. And that goes down. So now my hogs can help with the offense. And so can the giants. So you can see there's their king. He's going after my wizard. And I have all my troops in play right now. But I did take out the corners. I'm going to zoom out. You can see all the corners are clean. And now their king is being taken out. Yeah, 96%, 98%. And the only thing that's left is this gold storage, and there's a giant bomb, and this um, gold, uh, gold mine. So there we go, three stars on base number 28. Now you can see I had to drop 12, 12 slots in order to um, to do this because, like I said, I have no 
no heroes and no um, and no dark spell factory. So that's it for now. I just wanted to kind of show this ba this this war. I mean, congratulations to these guys. They did really well. And you can see I only got one third of my or thirty percent of my bonus, which kind of stinks, but you know it's fine. Um, we had a streak. Let's let's see this. We had a streak of I think seventeen. So this is our clan. I mean, we're pretty good. And you can see, starting from the bottom, we have 98, 97. We have, I'm going to count perfect wars. One perfect war, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out of the last 17, we had eight perfect wars. And I guess the lowest percent we had was 93%. So it's pretty good. I mean, we're a pretty good team here. And these other guys just beat us. I mean, that's what happens. They were better at this playing the war weight game than we were. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And what are your thoughts on war weight bases? I know I've been to clans where they hate them and other ones I know just love them. So what are your comments? Please leave them below. And please don't forget to subscribe for more Clash of Clans. Thank you guys for watching.